hello my lovelies welcome back to my channel hope everybody is having an amazing day today don't know me and you're new my name is Bree. today we are going to be discussing my 11 and 12 week symptoms i'm currently 12 weeks i will be 13 weeks on friday yay super excited i'm so happy i have a lot of stuff to tell you guys today i had all my symptoms in my iPad. So today I'm gonna to read off my iPad. So if I do look down, you know why. So let's start off by my 11 weeks. For my 11 weeks, I started to become very constipated. For a couple of days, I was constipated. And I just kept saying, please do not let me continue being constipated because I don't like that. And I don't think anybody would like that. I'm the type of person that drinks a lot, a lot of water. So I don't understand why I was constipated this week, but I was. But yeah, when you're pregnant, make sure you drink a lot of, a lot of water to stay hydrated. My next thing was everything tastes like copper. When I mean copper, as in when I wake up and I start eating something, after I'm done eating, it's like this aftertaste that tastes so disgusting. It tastes like, like you know how when, sorry, I'm out of breath. Okay, okay. You know how when you have pennies in your hand and you can smell a penny? That's how it tastes like I have a cup of pennies and I just gargle that down and it's in my throat. Every time I eat, there is a nasty aftertaste that tastes like blood or pennies in my mouth. It's just disgusting. I'm not sure what that is. I can't really enjoy my food. It tastes like all I do really is just taste pennies. Yeah, I'm not really sure what that is, but it is a very, very nasty, nasty taste. I can have a full eight to nine hours of sleep and still wake up and be dragging, literally. Like I can sit here and go to bed at 7.30 and wake up whenever, like on my days off, wake up whenever and still literally be dragging in the morning. Care package, so I have a care package that I ordered and I went and got some groceries for me and I got some more snacks by my bed. It's lovely, so I have a care package now by my bed. Pregnancy brain, as I've said in my previous video, pregnancy brain is something, I swear it is. For me to wake up, my job is 7.15 and my kids have to get up at 6.15 to go to school, to catch the bus, right? I don't know why, but Brianna decided she was going to set her alarm for her job time for her kids to go to school. Instead of me setting my alarm for 6.15 for my kids to catch the bus, I set the alarm for 7.15 for them to miss the bus. And my husband had to rush and get them dressed, prepared, and get their lunch ready, and zoom on out for school. So happy they were not late. I felt so bad. I felt so bad. And I'm like, I'm so, so sorry. I literally put the wrong time in my alarm and I set it for my job time when it was supposed to be for my kids. <laughs> yes, you guys, I do a pregnancy brain. My appointment was um, October 8th to see my doctor. I love her so, so much. I got to see baby, baby is healthy, baby is fine. I did a blood work for my gender and I today I got the results. I did not look, of course. I'm going to end up giving it to my sister-in-law so I'm meet up for her today and I'm going to give her the results. And you guys, I'm so excited. I cannot wait. She got literally almost everything already set up at her place that we're gonna be having a Halloween theme type of gender reveal. It's gonna be super duper dope and it's gonna be so fun. The nurse went over the whole process of being pregnant and things to look out for make sure I'm eating right, make sure I'm keep myself hydrated. Of course, as I say, I like to drink water. I have no problems drinking water. I can drink water all day, no problems at all. Making sure I take care of myself, you know, the normal usual things that they put, they expect you to do and also take your prenatals. Matter of fact, as I'm talking about prenatals, she found me the best prenatals. The nurse found me the best prenatals that I can take. So far they're working. I just bought them like three days ago. So everything is fine. So far I have no issues chewing them. I do appreciate her helping me with that. Nausea here and there. And my stomach is starting to itch. 
so is my chest. I'm catching myself scratching right here. I'm catching myself rubbing my stomach because I do have stretch marks. Learning to tell myself if you're itchy, put some ointment there or just rub my stomach. Do not scratch, girl, because your stretch marks will show and probably worse, which is nothing wrong with stretch marks. Embrace your stretch marks. I already have stretch marks. I don't want too much of them. I'm just learning to rub my stomach if I am itchy or discomfort. So that is for my 11 weeks. So we're on to 12 weeks. My tailbone is starting to hurt. I'm realizing that when I'm in bed, I'm literally tossing and turning. I'm catching myself turning left and right in my bed. I don't know what it is. Sometimes I'm literally catching myself laying on my back and it freaks me out. So I have to tell myself, girl, do not lay on your back. It's not good. Please do not lay on your back in pain in the morning when I get up. Oh, and also my pelvic. My I'm having pelvic pain now. And when I told my doctor about that, she said that's normal. My uterus or something down there is stretching. Um, and of course, baby's getting big. There is some pain and pressure down there and some soreness. So literally, I'm catching myself getting out of bed so slow. So, you know, the edge of the bed and you're putting your feet down. I have to turn around and lean on the bed and just sit there and just rock back and forth and stretch and get myself warmed up to actually stand up and actually walk. I'm literally waddling like this, like a penguin. My chest is still sore. I come home from work, I take my sports bra off and I have to hold myself like this. I'm like, ow, ow, ow. And I know it's just temporary, but it does hurt. My chest feels like rocks. They're heavy. Like normally when I get in a shower, when I get home from work, the warmness of the shower makes my body feel a lot better. And I'm able to actually feel better my body's able to relax and to calm down and it tends to feel, you know, it's eased up. It's not really of the soreness. I'm getting sharp pains in my uterus. So I'm assuming that's because, you know, everything's stretching. Everything is, you know, baby's getting bigger. So I'm getting that. I'm also getting back pain here and there. And I'm very, 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 very thirsty. Thirsty. I don't have to do nothing and I'm thirsty. All I want to do is drink water all day literally so hungry and i saw wendy's and i wanted to get a sandwich and i was on my way to work when i tell you i got emotional eating a sandwich from wendy's and i know i sound like a crybaby the sandwich tastes so so good so so good i didn't have no nausea yay to that but that's what i feel this week of my 12 week pregnancy we got my dress for my gender review i want to show you guys what it looks like i'm waiting desperately for it to come in. I bought it on the 10th of October and I'm so hoping it comes on time. It says it'll be here October 17th through the 24th and I'm praying, praying, and praying, praying desperately that it comes on time. Fall dress and I got these little cute Halloween earrings. They're little pumpkins. It's a cute fall dress and then here is the earrings. So dope. It reminds me of like fall and the leaves falling down. I have brown shoes that matches this dress. I just cannot wait, you guys. I just cannot freaking wait. Oh my gosh. But that is it, you guys. I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys.